Hi, um, this is my second video of my DVD collection. This is S through whatever I stop at. I'll probably stop at the R's or something. But, um, okay. Um, the first one is from 2008, I think. I'm not sure, though. 2007, never mind. It's a Strangers. This movie is, like, the only movie that really, really scares me. I don't know why, but the guy in the white mask just scares the crap out of me. Like, if I ever saw that, I would probably cry. Um, next is The Stepfather. This, I love that. I love Terry O'Quinn. He's so awesome. I just love this movie. It's great. It's great. Um, uh, it's pretty good. I liked watching it. It was a cool story. I liked it. I haven't seen the remake, but I heard it was really stupid. So, I'm probably not going to. Next is Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci. Something in Sleepy Hollow. Uh, I haven't seen this film in like 10 years. So, I really don't know. I mean, Johnny Depp's cool, so whatever. Um, next is Silent Hill with... Um, Whatever the fuck her name is, I really can't pronounce it. It's like Radha Mitchell. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I really like it though. Sean Bean is okay. But I think it's really dark. It's, it's awesome though. I like the cover too. It's cool. Um, next is Amazing Silence of the Lambs. I love Anthony Hopkins. Or is it Anthony? I have no idea. But he's just awesome. And, um, Jodie Foster, she's awesome. Um, I love both Little Bill. That's funny. <laughs> um, this movie is basically one of my favorites. It's really awesome. Um, next is the best Stanley Kubrick's The Shining with Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall. Oh my god. I can't even say enough about this movie. It's just amazing. I love it. I love the music and everything. Just everything about it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, it's just awesome. Made in 1980, you know? I love everything about it. Um, next, next couple videos or DVDs is like my Saw shit, so. Whatever, I saw the final chapter. I gotta say, the Saw franchise, after the third one, has gotten really bad. Like, I bought the Saw DVDs 4 through 7 because, you know, I'm gonna keep faithful, but seriously, they're getting so stupid. They should really stop making them at, like, 4. Like, they should just stop at 3 because Jigsaw Animated died. Hello. Just stop, you know? I don't know. Um, next is Saw 6. Um, again, I thought it was stupid. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm sorry. Toby Bell is still awesome, but seriously, they should just stop. <laughs> Saw 5? Um, uh, I don't know. The only thing cool about this one is that I actually got an actual prop from the movie offline. Everyone thinks it's fake, but it's real. I have the authenticity thing, so it's real, but it's key that Jigsaw used in, like, when he was setting up the Saw 2 room, you know, where everyone makes up. Yeah, but, um, this one, again, I don't really like it. Saw 4. Um, this is better than 5, 6, or 7. And I love Agent Perez. I don't know why. She's just really cool. Um, I like that the guy from Gilmore Girls is in this. It's so funny. I forget his name though. What's his name? Dude, I, I... Scott Patterson? Yeah, is that it? Yeah. That's funny. Next is Saw... Uh, what? Oh my god. The DVD isn't in here. It's not in here. What the fuck? Whatever, Saw 3, um, I like Saw 3. The case, I lost the case, like, years ago. I don't even know where it is. 
But, um, I like Saw 3. It's cool. I don't know. It's, it's cool, though. I mean, 2007. Directed by Darren Lynn Bowden. Um, Saw 2. The special edition. I like the, like, the case. It's like a... doesn't really do anything. It just, like, moves around. But, um... It's the same thing. Um, this is also directed by Darren Lynn Bowsman. Um, this is basically my favorite out of the Saw franchise. I don't know why, but I love Amanda, the character Amanda. I met Shawnee Smith at this, uh, fan expo in Toronto, Canada in 2008. That was pretty cool. She was really nice. Um, but Saw 2 is awesome. I like it. Oh, and one thing I gotta add about Saw 7, I love the fact that Dr. Lawrence Gordon came back. That was the only good thing about that movie. I'm sorry, but it was. Then I just have Saw 2, the full screen edition. You know, whatever. Same thing. Saw the uncut edition. I like this. It has a lot of cool features. It has, um, behind the scenes. They have, uh, the real jigsaw investigation and stuff like that. They have commentaries. Um, they have uh, storyboards and everything. I love the first saw. It has to be the best one because it's just the first one, you know? It's just awesome. Um, I love Lee Winnell. He's so cute. And I love James Wan. I just love them. They're like the perfect like duo for like, I don't know. They're just awesome. And Danny Glover, man, he's awesome. Okay, and then I just have, you know, Saw, the first one. Just the regular one, widescreen. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna do four more DVDs and I'm gonna cut to another one. Because I don't want my video to run out. Next is The Ruins. I'm sorry I bought this movie thinking it would be really good, but it was really stupid. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I don't like it. Next is Stephen King's Rose Red. I love this movie. I've been obsessed with this movie since I was like five. I thought it was so cool and so like weird and everything. I love horror films that have to do with like haunted like houses and stuff. I just, I don't know why. I think it's awesome though. The little girl in it, Kimberly Brown. Oh my god. She's just amazing, right? Yeah, she is dude. Um, I don't know. I just like this movie. I think it's, it's so long. But it's so good though. Next is Mia Farrow and Rosemary's Baby. This was really creepy to me. It was really dark. I mean, I wouldn't like someone going up on my kid like that. Ew. That'd be so creepy. Um, I don't know. It was a film from the late 60s. Uh, I, I really liked it though. Roman Polanski. I mean, Roman Polanski is just awesome anyway. Um, I don't know, I just like him. And last, I like how I'm ending this video with one of my favorite movies of all time, The Rocky Horror Picture Show. I love this movie so much. It's directed by Jim Sharn, I'm gonna say. You know, Tim Curry, Richard O'Brien, Patricia Quinn, just all of them are totally awesome. Susan Sarandon's good too, but obviously Tim Curry is the best. Tim Curry is just amazing. I love him. Um, yeah, so this is made in 1975, I believe. If I'm right. I think I am, though. So, yeah. This is the end of part two of my DVD collection. So, um, keep watching for part three and four and five and six and whatever. Thanks.